Hello, I'm Helen Reilly. I'm also a dog owner, actually two beautiful golden retrievers. I love to walk both the rec paths and the parks, and I also serve as chair of the South Burlington City Council. I'm here today to start um, with a short PSA, a public service an announcement regarding, regarding dog recreation etiquette for South Burlington. I'm sure many of you have read the letters to the editor, as well as comments, um, sometimes multiple comments, on the Front Porch Forum about um, dog behavior. So this is a reminder, um, or maybe it's new to some people, that all city-owned parks, natural areas, and rec paths are here for the enjoyment of all residents. And all residents have the right to the same positive experiences at each of these facilities. It's the responsibility of all users to follow two very simple rules in order to make sure that our wonderful recreational areas are inclusive and safe for all to enjoy, including our fur babies. So the two simple rules. One, keep your dog on a leash. The ordinance requires dogs be on a leash on city rec paths and in specified parks, including Red Rocks, Veterans Memorial, and JC Park. Dogs are also not allowed on the beach at Red Rocks. Pretty simple. Two, pick up after your dog. That's even more simple and more common sense. Now, why do we need to remind you? Well, dogs are being observed off leash, frequently down at the beach at Red Rocks. Um, uh, there's observations of neg and actual negative interactions between dogs and other park users, including bites and users. Some are scared to use the park. I know that's hard for those of us who have dogs, love them, see them as wonderful companions and friendly, but not everyone shares that um, attitude about dogs. There's also new social trails have been created by dogs and their owners when off leash. This leads to erosion and destruction of wildlife habitat. In terms of your pocketbook, and it does hit your pocketbook, staff is spending more and more time and resources developing new signage, and so they're not doing other things we want them to do to maintain our parks and recreation paths. Um, so the new signage they're developing has been removed, it's been damaged, and it's sadly been ignored. Waste is being left along all parks and rec trails. I'm sure many of you have either seen piles of dog poop or dog poop in bags that have been abandoned. Sometimes it's been thrown down storm drains or into the trees and occasionally in other people's yards. So what is appropriate dog etiquette? It's pretty simple again. Keep your dog on a leash at all times. Stay on the designated trails. Be respectful of others who may fear dogs. Step aside on trails. Have your dog sit. Uh, shoot a, shout a friendly hello to those approaching to let your dog know they are friendly. And limit the total number of dogs in a hiking, hiking group to no more than two. More than two, and it looks like a pack coming at other users and can be very scary. And simply, please pick up your dog waste by using a dog waste bag. Take it home or drop it in the nearest garbage can. Please be respectful of our parks, your neighbors, and our environment. Dog waste is terrible and has a terrible impact um, for the lakes and streams. We all care about Lake Champlain. Let's help keep it as clean as we can. Thanks for listening, and please do your part to keep South Burlington beautiful for all. Thanks.